Welcome back to Widget on Tilt, everyone. I am T, and today we're going to go through more Python. And this time, though, I'm going to show how to do a Monte Carlo simulation. Now, we're going to pick up where we left off from the prior video on importing Patrick Mahomes' away stats. And we're going to do a simulation on yards per attempt. Now, again, this is very basic, very simplistic. Please do not use this to try and beat a book. If you're going to try and beat a book, use these concepts and elaborate on them for a sharper, cleaner model. Now, in the video, we are going to import some additional libraries. Um, and again, if you want to install these things, you just need to do a pip install. And then in Python, make sure that they're actually set up on your project. For all the data files that you want to use, be sure that they're in the same folder as your Python file, right? Because it needs to know where it's at in order to call those files. All right, so let's go ahead and simulate Patrick Mahomes and his yards per attempt. All right, so we're going to jump in again where we kind of left off before. So in here, let's go ahead and do some importing. So we have in here import random. We already have the import pandas, the import numpy. Next, we're going to also add in one more. So go ahead. So the one you're going to do now is scipy or skippy. I've heard it two different ways. So we'll say from scipy dot stats import norm. So now that we have that, we will be using that. But again, it grays out because we're not using it immediately. It's not seeing it getting called. So let's go ahead and find the average of the yards attempts. So now that we're going to go ahead and grab that data, we're going to go ahead and find the average of the QB yards per attempt. So now we want to go ahead and build this into a Monte Carlo. So we'll say for i in range 0 to 10,000. And again, don't forget the colon. Then once we're in here, we're going to go ahead and create a randomized probability. In order to do that, we'll say RP. So similar to VBA where we wrote just R, here we're going to just call it RP. So random probability equals random dot uniform and I'm going to say 0 to 1 so that number can fall anywhere in 0 to 1 and if we want to see this in action uh, what we can do then is just go print string rp and we'll go ahead and run this so as you can see in here, there's a whole bunch of random probabilities that were added that are between the numbers of 0 and 1. So let's go ahead and pull those back down. So now that we have that, um, you can see how it's going to actually generate those random numbers. Now to do the actual uh, Monte Carlo simulation, we're going to go ahead and say yards attempt sim for simulations. And I'll say equals norm.ppf. Okay, then we need to type in the probability RP is our random probability, LOC equals, and then whatever that uh, you know QB average was. So QB, AVG, and again, thank you for helping Python. So the next thing we're going to need then is the standard deviation, and we can do that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this one in and just say um, scale equals QB STD. Y A, and then that's going to be for that. So we'll go ahead and add that in up top, and we'll just pop this in there like that, and just say np dot std, and then we're just going to use the same information as up in here. So yards per attempt. Great. So now we're going to be getting an average. We're going to be getting a standard deviation, and then we're going to be putting that information in here, and it's going to go ahead and build that out. Now, the next thing, though, is that in the simulation, you need to be able to store this data into a list. So we're going to create a list. So the list is going to be generated. The initial empty list will be generated outside of the loop. So I'm going to say simmed numbers equals and then just two brackets. So again, a list is just a huge set of data that is demarked by commas. So we could have 1, 2, 10, 11, 5, right? We want to start with this being empty, so we're just going to leave it empty. And then as each of these events occurs, 1 through the 10,000, we're going to go ahead and store it into the list. So to add something into a list, you're going to say the list.append. 
So we're appending something into the list. And here it's yards attempt sim. And again, you got to make sure that the spelling and capitalization is correct. Otherwise, Python's not going to know how to do this. So we've gone ahead and pulled in data for Patrick Mahomes. We have the yards attempt average, yards per attempt standard deviation. We have a list created called simmed numbers and it's empty so there's no data in there. Then we're going to go ahead and begin looping through for each. This could say each, I, it does not matter. I'm just using I in this example. From 0 to 10,000, we're going to generate a random number between 0 and 1 and set that as RP. Then we're going to go ahead and get the simulation going and we're going to put in the probability, the average, and the standard deviation. And then that number is going to be saved into YA sim. And then YA sim is going to get appended into this list. So as it loops through on the first pass, it'll come up with a number, put it into the list. It'll come up with a second number, add it to the list. A third number, add it to the list. And again, it's adding to the list. It's not overwriting the list. It's just adding to it. So it's going to keep piling it in there. So then lastly, once it runs through all of those, what we'll do is I'm going to say print. Okay. And then I'm going ahead and say simmed numbers. So I just want it to print the list. So we're going to go ahead and run this and see what the output would be. And here you can see all kinds of numbers in here, right? So the simulation just dumped the entire list of all 10,000 scenarios in here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll this back down. So now that we have that, we can also do other things to this data before we print it. We can actually then take an average. So we brought in the average, we saw the simulation. So let's say after the simulation, we want to see what the average would actually be after 10,000. AVG simmed games equals, and then we just need to go ahead and run the average against the actual list, which is totally acceptable. So here, we'll just go ahead and say NP dot average, and then we'll put the parentheses, and then we'll just call it simmed, and then it says simmed numbers. So we'll put it right there. So again, we have this list that we created. We're going to say, get me the average of this list. I'm going to take this value and put it into the printed version. So let me create some more space so this slides up. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and print this number. Again, we're going to put it as a string because I want it to convert to a string. And when it's done running, this is the number I get, 8.495089, blah, blah, blah. So this is how you can run a Monte Carlo quickly and use that information. Now, again, remember in Microsoft Excel and VBA, this took much, much longer. This is actually only taking a couple of seconds and then it's done. So this is the power of Python and we're going to get into more complex things um, later on. But this is how you can run a simple Monte Carlo by uploading a file in a CSV format. So that is it. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated. I think it's very similar to things that we've done in VBA. The syntax is a little bit cleaner and it's shorter to write this code, which is a great reason to move into Python. And hopefully, as you saw, Python moves insanely fast compared to VBA. VBA does take a lot of time. In the past, when I was doing some speed tests, uh, things that would take me between two to three hours to do in VBA takes me actually about one minute in Python, which saves a ton of time so I can keep moving forward with other scenarios and simulations and actually get my bets in on time. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That way it pushes it up in the YouTube algorithm. If you think this information is going to be helpful for others, please share the content. The more people that we have learning this stuff, the more new ideas can propagate and the better we'll all be. If you do have any questions about this, you could drop a comment. Uh, you can also reach me at wagered on tilt at Twitter. And you can also reach me in the unabated Discord. In the Discord, I am the underscore T. So hopefully this was uh, relatively similar to VBA for you. You were able to implement this and that you can actually pull data in and now run a Monte Carlo simulation. Now, again, this is just football, but you can do this for anything. Just like with VBA and the spreadsheets, the sky's the limit as long as you have your data file set up properly, you set your proper variables, and you think of how you want to run that simulation. Anything can work. So that is it for today. So until next time, happy wagering.